he's received anything on my phone in eight hours. So, we just woke up. Obviously, we said we wanted to get a really early start. Um, I think just yesterday just took so much out of us, so it's like 9.30. We're just not leaving. So, D.C., we're probably not going to get a great tour. Philly, we're probably not going to get a great tour. Just outside the cabin. Look at that. It's not bad, right? Outside, that's it. This is the cabin. Super bright. Yesterday it was dark, now it's bright. We're having difficulties with the camera. On the road again. Really, really bittersweet. Because, like, we slept in so much, so now we're not going to get to tour DC during the day. We're definitely not going to tour Philly during the day. And that kind of sucks, but also it's nice because at least we got to actually get good rest. So it's kind of like, eh, am I happy or not? I don't know. We slept from 1 to 9.30 a little bit off and on. Like I woke up a few times because my alarm at 4. <laughs> Which I ignored, apparently. <laughs> and, but otherwise, it was so comfy and surprisingly warm, even though it is 46 degrees outside this morning. Yeah, now we're headed to find maybe a coffee shop in the midst of these mountainous hills or DC. <laughs> Out in the middle of the Tennessee mountain. <laughs> Got farts? Got farts. Very curvy road. Very, very curvy. Twisty. Seen a couple cliffs. I hope this is playing. I can hear me talk because I'm going to test out the audio. He walked into the bar and parked his lanky frame upon a tall bar stool. Music is so perfect. And with a long, soft, southern draw, said I'll just have a glass of anything that's cool. Go, go, go! We're back at the mothership. We we're trying to find breakfast, and I can't go anywhere without having some Taco Bell breakfast, so we're going to Okay, so Taco Bell was rude. And didn't have any coffee, so we Soft. left. You just said, we'll go somewhere else, so we found a Starbucks. <laughs> so we're leaving. Use your map. So here's the deal. Here's what we did. I said, I want two breakfast number 11 with bacon. Bacon crunch wrap supreme. And 20 seconds passed by with no audio from the lady. And then she just goes, what do you want to drink? Whoa! Cool it with the tood. She says, what do you want to drink? I said, coffee black coffee and she says my coffee machine's broken I think let me go look yeah it's broken it's not my problem you rude out of coffee you rude ditty 
So we went to Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and they were done serving breakfast at 10:30, and it's 11. So then we went to Starbucks. We just stopped in. Uh, what's this town called? Abingdon. No, that's that. Abingdon. Oh. We're in Virginia. We stopped in some city in Virginia. Got some more ice for the ice chests. Got some gas. Some snacks. And uh, we are five and a half hours out from DC. So we'll probably uh probably be in DC the next time you see an update. Boop boop. Long. Buckle Get up. the speed limit forced by air traps though. of the area that we're driving through it's like a radio station that you listen to while you drive through the Shenandoah Valley Tourist Information Center at the Virginia Museum of the Civil War is the perfect place to get oriented north south east or west for so long something's happening what's happening we're about to do the first thing different than drive straight in 400 miles We've driven for 400 miles. In mountainous forest. Was it 400 miles? Forested mountain. I don't know. It feels like it. It was like <laughs> four hours, so I'm just assuming 400 miles. But it was the same, just go straight. And now, we're about to exit, which is incredible. Where are we? <laughs> Look, it says Virginia. Washington. Oh my gosh. Which is where we're going. We're going to Washington, D.C. Making a break out of the wilderness. Possibly. What's it gonna be? It's a bit different trees. Different trees. <laughs> Washington DC and there's lots of construction and trains. We are about five miles away from my future home. As the president of the United States of America. Herman Brinzer 2032. Crazy. It's so bright! Okay. It's like <laughs> what? <laughs> You're green. We're we recording? Alright, yep, yeah, we're in We're here in DC. <laughs> There's the though. We found the White House. This is the White House. This is the. This is really good video. I'm you want not... me to take that? Do you have your camera? Yeah. America, America. This is incredible. God, with the night shot on, everything looks like a horror movie. 
but it's kind of the only way to see anything. Uh, compliment. Okay. And this is as close as we can get. This is the south one. <laughs> Isn't that the same as it was over there? <laughs> so we are going to go to where? Good. Dolceza. Dolceza, gelato, and coffee, and hit the road for Philadelphia because Washington was complete bust. The monument is awesome. It's well lit. You can see it. Great. Everything else is just like there's just not. It's just so dark. There's nothing you can do or see. And there's not an ounce of parking around here. We're hoping there's parking at this coffee shop. We're having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> Surely this is not how you do this. That's what he said. He said there's a ramp. <laughs> so they've got more lights in this parking garage than they do at National Monuments, which is irritating. But, um, this is actually... Did you lock the car? Yeah, I did. I didn't hear you. This is a much nicer end of D.C. Here District, wharf. uh, District Wharf. Showing you the prices of the parking, but. Oh, check that out. This is a terrifying. Just walk some back alley. It's called the alley. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we're getting some coffee. They're filming American Idol here. We had to stop and get silver idol letters. Get Gibraltar. Oh yeah, wow, look at that. We walked right past it too and I was like, oh that's weird. Yeah, the guy was like, you here for the American Idol? I was like, no, I'm here for uh, the Astros game. He was like, there's no Astros game here. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's up in New York. <laughs> it's in New York. We're working on it. This is much no, but there will be. <laughs> this is a much nicer part of DC than on the other side. I don't know how we just happened upon this, but it's kind of funny. Also, like, what are all these people? Are they a part of it? I don't. I mean, yeah, I guess they are, aren't they? Actually, I guess this sort of happened. Okay, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just video it from here. It's zero zero. Oh, it's zero once. Zero one Nats. Nats winning. But when I just checked. Okay, so I was I looked in there and I walked over here to take video of that wharf sign. It was zero zero. Now it's zero one Nats. Go Nats! Wow. Here you go. <sighs> we just got back in the car. About to make our last little three hours to Philly before sleeping for the night. Before we head to Philly, you know I got that thing on me. Mayonnaise. Got to make me a BLT. AKA dinner. Because we're cheap, we really don't want to pay for anything that we don't have to. Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. I don't like that they're doing construction on the tunnel while we're in the tunnel. Though. Look how long we're in this tunnel for. Yep. It's quite a while. I was really hoping that it would look a little bit cooler, but it does not look cool. Just some cheese! Brooklyn said that she was smelling something and she was blaming like my our, body. No, our bodies. Like, we haven't showered in two days. She thought that I just stunk or something. 
and uh, the light was off, so I didn't you know, know what was going on. And I went to get the Philadelphia sign, <laughs> and I stick my hand on something. <laughs> it's a piece of cheese. <laughs> Where did that come from? You were putting it on your BLTs. It's a Lunchable cheese block. So this is our camper, so where we stayed last night. Pretty cute, pretty cozy. You know we could have got a hotel, but where's the adventure in that? No, we'd rather roll up in a stranger's backyard. <laughs> it really is a stranger's backyard. We both slept in that bed. There was two beds, but they're probably big and they're really comfortable. Yeah, it was cozy. The shower um, had hot water for a max total of three minutes. So that was cool. Let's go check out the backyard, boys. So, close that. That was it. <laughs> That's where we stayed last night. It's a hammock. You can make a fire there. There was another camper out here as well. A little graffiti on the house, no big deal. Yeah, this is Philly. We're here in Philly. It's so pretty. Oh, uh, we need to make sure there's there's a kitten around here, so we need to make sure there's no kitten in the car. Bang on the windshield. <laughs> Off to a good start. Already tried to go down the road that is closed. Oh, F. And now we're headed <laughs> we're sideways in the middle of the road. <laughs> I'm going to hit this car, aren't I? It's aren't you? Parallel park, but don't hit them. You're. Baby, I know what I'm doing. Here. Okay. I'm a genius. Watch this. These are some of the weirdest looking houses I've ever seen. All right, now watch this. Here's what we're going to do. Uh. I don't really figure that out. <laughs> Why didn't you just back up a little bit more and make a Yui? Yui? Yeah. How small do you think this car is? I mean, she's decent. Okay, a little bit more. Uh, hang on, don't bit. you talk like that to me. And then finish it off. Look at there. You got it. Okay, we're going to High Point Cafe. It's right down the road. Okay, because we're singing Halloween songs, right? Yeah. Cool. Bookstore. Can we go to the bookstore? I think we have time for this. Oh, yeah. No, give us an update. Alright, we just got coffee at High Point Coffee Shop. And Pretty now good. we're headed to Terre Haute. Oh, no, Philadelphia. Just kind of look around. Or the rest of Philadelphia, and then we're gonna go to Terre Haute Farms to pick some apples. A mosaic wall. They've got art everywhere in Philly, everywhere. It's pretty cool. I mean, look, there's art on the light poles. Madness. You want me to drive? There's a rat infestation in Philly. What's up? You have the keys? No, I mean, what's up? Oh, we are in downtown Philly in a parking garage about to go look at all the historical things. Philly what, babe? Oh, it's Liberty Belly. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a variation. Where's this inside of focus? 
a Philly fanatic. Okay. All right. Ring loud, though. sacred relics, preserved as a tangible link to the struggle for freedom that created this nation. Such hallowed objects are often located at sites of pilgrimage like Independence Hall. Their power made evident by people gathering in their presence. The Liberty Bell has been an inspiration for patriotic sacrifice in times of national crisis. The bell has also been an active symbol for those convinced that their cause is rooted in the ideal of liberty. Thank you for that history lesson. See you now. rats everywhere. <laughs> Look, there's rats all down the... Oh, I wonder what's going This doesn't look that cool, but this is the remnants of the president's house, which is when Philadelphia was the temporary capital. That was the residence of the first two presidents of the United States. I mean, come on. That's insane. It's incredible. That maybe from the grave, George Washington could. Well, we didn't go to the rock and the steps, but these are about the same. All right, was it absolutely incredible? It was interesting and pretty. I got some good pictures. Is it well worth the stop? Yeah, it's nice to get out and walk around and let the daylight. So I think now we're going to try and find us a cheesesteak, and then we're going to head to the. You know we had to do it. You know we had to do it. Oh my god, look. There's a King Cannoli right beside it. <gasps> cannoli. King Cannoli. All right, let's go grab us a Gino. The Gino's cheesesteak, baby. I wish we were here at night, because this would look so cool all lit up. The one time you want somewhere at night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see it, babe. We could have parked right here. Let's see it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's just meat, cheese, and onion. Yep. And bread. So, what's the review? Decent? Mm -hmm. What do you give it out of five? It's pretty generous. I can see where it could use some seasonings. Salt. 